Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Connects with a right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Big body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And he oh! comes through with a big knee. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Right hand on the counter. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Fired in our opening round. Big call for punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Lee. Our little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. There's no give on that leg kick. Leg kick checked by Lee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. His opponent's got it with the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Big kick land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Pulls out the top, he had the reach advantage, and he saw it right there with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Got clipped with the right hand. Ball collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. And this dude's cash and chips. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big punch, man. Oh, he got the real deal, too. Final seconds of round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. 
Round two winding down. Oh, wow, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, round two. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice punch by him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. He's having his way with him here. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. There's no oh. kill. There it is! It's over! He's done! He's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight! And don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, it's All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.